This is street food like you've never had before. So this is probably be quite popular with people in Asia. Buongiorno, good morning. We are in Cagliari, uh, Sardinia, still. Uh, we are off to a place called Fritto Mania um, to do a bit of uh, street food. But street food's not a big thing because family, um, I would say a big thing is eating with family. Am I right? And, 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 and Italian culture and Italian tradition is about sitting down and, and eating and having food. A lot of meals. And a lot of food and big meals. And the kind of culture is eating with family. I mean, a lot of people, they work, but they go home for lunch. You know, kids go to school, but they come home for lunch. You know, you're always eating with your family. When you go to the UK, you know, we eat microwave meals. We eat at school. We don't eat with family much. You know, it's such a big tradition to eat with family. So people aren't seen on the streets eating food, walking around and... and it's just normal to sit down with your family and have a big you know, at the end of the day, or even lunch, if everyone's on for lunch, which is quite common. For sure, so street food's not really, not really a massive thing, and you know. No, yeah. You know, but there is a bit of street food here and there, and, and you know, it, there is a bit in the Italian culture. So what we're going to try now is some fried food. Thus we call it fritto, fritto mania. So everything would be fried in this place. So Pat's first time. Very good first time. time. <laughs> We're going to go and sample some kind of traditional Italian um, fry bits um, that you can eat on the go um, and, um, and potentially some traditional Sardinian bits. So, uh, yeah, well, you're actually going to try for the first time with a few things. Yeah. Yeah, we've tried before. So let's, um, let's see how you like it. Let's see if they've, they've got it. Let's have a look at the menu. Right, okay, so this is coming up to the place up here. All right. Frito Mania, this is it. It's mostly it's a lot of seafood, it's mostly seafood. Uh, meat. But we're obviously not going to get there. We're going to go for uh, the fried cheese and fried vegetables and fried chicken. Yeah, we're going to go for the uh, fried cheese and fried vegetables and maybe some sweets. It's you. It's meat. It's not vegetarian, yeah. Right, okay. So we have to ask for it without the. Oh look, they do a pizza. Is that a fried pizza? Yeah, fried they do fried pizza. pizza. Oh, they do sabades de paseggio, yeah. which is a walking. Yeah, it just means that they they give it to you to walk with it. Normally they wrap it. Sometimes. So sabades is is their typical Sardinian. Um, they have a fried uh, fried raviolo, fried Sardinian. sweet raviolo. Yeah. You see a ricotta ah, and vanilla. Yeah. Oh, is that a sweet one, is it? Mm, yeah. They've got a sweet one as well, so it's ravioli dolce fritti. Okay. What is it? I see the apple fritters. Where? I see the other. Ah, there, yeah, okay. Cool. Mele, mele right. pasta latte. All right, okay, cool. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao. Uh, uh, fiori di zuc... Uh, Fiori uh, di uh, zucca, zucca uh, ma, ma senza uh, alice? No, no alice. Vegetarano. No? Fiori di zucca, mozzarella e alice. Ah, insieme. Ah, ok, va bene. Um, ok, um, mo ti, ti, ti hai uh, ma mozzarella uh, carrozzo? Sì? Sì, uno, e poi... Eh, cosa? Mozzarella, sì. eh, patata o no? Sì, 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 grazie. Eh, e poi... Um, eh, eh, sabades passeggio? Sabades. E poi eh, ravioli dolce? Sì, sì, uno. Eh, Vedura fritta? Vedura e Ok, va bene. Grazie. Vedura e cosa abbiamo? Onion rings, ecco qua. Onion rings and... Cucchine. Ah. Uh, no onion rings. No. It's onion rings. 
Uh, solo uh, zucchini. Okay. Yes. You're making me order, trying, no, it wasn't a trying to practice my uh, Italian. I, <laughs> that was with food. I thought like, I did all right, to be honest. Yeah, I did understand. You're panicked a bit. <laughs> What's that? You're panicked a bit because the guy said um, he couldn't do a Fiori Zucca without... Um, ah, no, I understood that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understood. Basically, the dish we couldn't get was Fiori di Zucca. Uh, it's a fried Fiori di Zucca. And it's zucchini flour. Um, it's very common here in Italy. And funny enough, in Europe, it's not that common um, to see. UK, UK, I've never seen zucchini flour ever sold. We only sell zucchinis, which are called courgettes, usually, in the UK. So, um, they might have it in Malaysia, because we went to an Italian restaurant once and they were on the menu, although right. they didn't have it, because it was out of season. Uh, these are fried mozzarella balls. So you get these in a cone, so it comes in a cone. So this is like their kind of Italian kind of street food. Sometimes these cones will be filled up with fish, seafood, yeah, so calamari. It's like fish and chips kind of vibe. It's like their kind of fish and chips. It'll be filled with calamari, which is squid. As you break into it, you can see the you can filling. See the milk coming out. All right. And then the chips that comes with it. We're almost like crisps. It's quite common over here in Sardinia, at least, for the potato chips to be very th thin like this. No, they've got them. Um, Almost like crisps. Skim. Mm. This, is, this is probably the most common thing they have here, which is calamari, which is squid. It's those rings of uh, deep fried squid rings with potato. It's something that you pay quite a lot in restaurants. It's like people like eating down here, and there are lots of restaurants that offer it, but obviously the price is different. You don't pay six, uh, six euros for the milk. The mozzarella <laughs> milk is dripping out. Is it? You open it up for this. That. We got, we got the zucchini, fried zucchini stuff. Got many things in my hands now. You look like you're holding a baby with them. Right, so here we have deep fried zucchini. I'm going to serve it up. Another cone. In a cone. So you can be on the go, and you can eat on the go, and you can walk around. You know, if you've got the mozzarella balls like me as well, and then you've got everything. You've got ignusa, it's sorted. It's all good. The thing about the zucchini is it's very light to eat. They are very thin. Look how thin they are. They are sliced very thinly. So for someone who's not a fan of zucchini like Pat, it's good because you... They're even better than the, um, mm. than the, uh, the uh, potato crisp. Really? If I could choose to have these, I would definitely have these. And this fried food is pretty typical here in Italy. Yeah, um, someone was saying we look like we gained some weight. <laughs> that is probably why. So, we've got a couple of things for the desserts. So we're going to start with the traditional thing, which is uh, sabada. Um, it's a traditional thing only found here in Sardinia. It's a Sardinian dessert. And what it is, is, is a semolina um, dumpling with pecorino cheese and sometimes lemon peel on the inside. You deep fry it and then you put this, drizzle this honey on top. It creates this kind of sweet, cheesy flavor. I think something, you know, especially in places like Asia, places like we've been in like Vietnam and um, places like that, they have sweet cheeses. So this probably be quite popular with people in Asia. Um, yeah, it's, it's a mix of um, savory and just, sweet. Okay. Um, So you can see mm. on the inside, you're really, you're really getting the lemon. It's really tasting that lemon. The lemon really hits you as you bite into the kind of dumpling. It's very thin, 
and in the encasing you've got all this pecorino cheese inside. What is it, Julia? It's um, sweet raviolo. So raviolo is that kind of field pasta. Yeah, you normally have um, like normal pasta, so with tomato sauce or any kind of sort of cheese sauce uh, or butter and seed, and it's got ricotta filling inside. So this is the sweet version of it. So it's deep fried, but you still got ricotta and I think it got some uh, vanilla stuff. Ricotta is the cheese? Yeah, ricotta is an Italian cheese, so it's quite soft and crumbly. Ah, that's the ricotta. Mm. Yeah, I've this before. So this isn't that common, but no. but ricotta desserts are common, are they? They are in some um, parts of Italy. They are in Sicily, for example, more than in Sardinia. Oh well, actually, we have um, the pardolas. Pardolas have ricotta as well. Right. You, you may think it's mad, but ricotta is quite a neutral cheese in that sense, so it can be quite sweet. It can be made into quite a sweet thing, or it can be made into a, a savoury dish. So, you know, working across both spectrums, it works quite well. All right, let's uh, let's get stuck in. Right, it's quite soft, and you can see the ricotta. Let's, let's give us a go. Mm. Nice, isn't it? It is like a sweet paste, sweet of course. Paste. You would not believe it's cheese at yeah, all. Yeah, you wouldn't think it's cheese. That's not, doesn't taste like, it's almost a cream. Some sort of vanilla cream. It's a yeah. vanilla cream, of course. Yeah, this is like, so, so the vanilla flavouring makes the ricotta like some kind of vanilla cream here. I've got beer in my hand as well, Ignusa. <laughs> so this, this is a typical Sardinian beer. It's called Ignusa. This is very like that, it's just very like, something you can eat on the go, it's perfect. This is great, great street food. This is street food like you've never had before, I bet. Or unless you've been to Sardinia. Right, there we go. So that was some Sardinian street food there. Um, I really wanted to go to this place, by the way. I thought it's probably not that interested, it's just fried food. But it's, but it, it's a fried food, but it's the only street food they really, really have here, and it's sold in cones. You'll find there are places, some of the pizza places here as well. Um, well, Neapolitan ones, they'll do fried, um, fried fish and they'll do it in a cone as a kind of takeout. Um, oh yeah, here they do fried pizza too. Oh, they do fried pizza, they do fried oh, pizza here as well. Which normally either Neapolitan or Sicilian. Right. But we're going to do that, we're going to save that for another video. Um, we have got some, some clips but we're going we're gonna to share that. So this road is on, is yeah, at the end of yeah. Via della Margarita. No. Uh, what is it? Via della Regina. Via Le, Viale. Viale Regina Margarita. Viale Regina. Margarita. See, Viale Regina Margarita. So you can find that here. Um, but yeah, a couple more bits from us to come before we, we leave um, Sardinia and we return back to London. Uh, we are we are now in October and the weather is still beautiful here 23 degrees um, you know that's warm for an Englishman um, I mean shorts I mean I'm in a jacket yeah yeah I'm in a jacket but it's lovely right okay uh, anything else to say no. then the whole uh, the whole um, meal there or the whole selection of bits we got there came to 19 euros and that was with the beer as well the beer, yeah. so uh, it was so a good yeah i guess that the price goes up when you order the sweets i feel so sweets are like two or three euros each right which is quite a lot if you think do it's follow us on instagram um do follow us uh, link in the description uh we're always around to chat so just give us a shout that was a quick bit of um italian or sardinian street food here um and this extra food that you see here is something we went for right after as well um, with an Aperol spritz and aperitivo. That food that you can see there right now is food that comes free with the drink that you buy. Um, so you get a massive, massive selection of food. It's always, always good aperitivo in Italy. If you're in Italy, you've got to do it. Just order a couple of drinks at a bar, sit down and they'll bring you some uh, nice food.